for this year. Ooh, someone's going all in on research. Okay, there's your investments and changes in value. Big changes for Little Snowflake, Nordic Thunder, Scuderia Caro, RRT as well, and VEO. Okay, and there's your final numbers. Our basic stats. First acquisition, um, 9.5% chance for Flow Force and BBZ. Next up is the double purchase of Lynx and Bearcat for BBZ. Uh, they have 10.5% chance, 63.5 combined. Okay, Camry Racing is a 3.5% chance. And lastly, Jordan F1, 5.75% chance. No. 22.25 that Scuderia leaves. Paracaro versus Mini Caro, nope. 18.5% chance HPF leaves. Nope. And 4.5% chance Little Snowflake leaves NTH. No, that was low though. 3.5% chance RJT leaves RRT. No. And it's time for folding throws. We've got three. 50, 18, and 6. You're all safe. Happy 40th birthday to Sobel this year. Ibram doubled his prestige in one season. Your is has really fallen fast. He should be out of the league this year. And congrats to Skip, Yoha, and Lil Lef on being born. And welcome to the League of Goose Jr. and Hyperion Jr. free agents for CL. And time for retirement rolls. Ooh, we got 35 rolls. There's some high ones. There are some high ones. We could see a lot of people dropping out. Ooh. And it's happened. Gamer is out of the Sunday League at age 37. Hyperion also with a 97 roll. Whew, Juicy Melon finally <laughs> retires for the second time at age 32 with a 61 roll. Galetta out at age 28 with a 76 3 roll. Suicid once again leaving his league with a 71 roll. Ooh, and Nandi with a 75 roll, leaving Camry. And big shock to Foley after developing as a superstar. Just didn't have the dedication. He's retired, fully retired. Um, and Anti Amazing will stay in free agency. It's my mistake. Fully and Anti automatically returned. They were grayed out last season. So they are automatically back in the free agency pool. Um, let's do our rules to see who comes out of retirement. Twist. Camry. Bada bing all returning to play okay we've got six dedication rolls for our leaving drivers 
Gamer goes into actual retirement at 37. As does Hyperion at 36. Juicy and Galetta just seem to be taking a year off. As is Suwasid, but Nandi is retiring. Okay, we've got 34 rolls for contracts. Low numbers. Got a couple, got a couple. And Serenit is not renewed. The 5.2. Okay, to fully and anti hit one year of non development, they go back one. And it's time to see who gets the in our last one by way of talent iceberg is kicked off VEO to FGR. And they do, so it's fully to FGR. Okay, VEO picks Ibram Jr. Former CL champion. Okay, Flow Force and Nordic Thunder next. Hakeem to Flow Force, smallest to Nordic Thunder. Okay, now we have seven spots in the CL to fill. Lots and lots of changes to retirements this year. Okay, first draw to Bobcat Racing. And they're gonna pick Anti. Okay, Franz picks Iceberg. Scuderia Minicaro takes Camry. Time for a little Snowflakes pick. It's Hyperion Jr. enters the league. Alright, not looking too bad. We've got a couple Camry Racings and a Sunset Sandstorm remaining. Camry takes Lancito Jr. and Twist. And lastly, Sunset Sandstorm takes Serenity. Nope, can't do it because Serenity was cut off, was unsigned, so we have to pick another. It's Goose Jr. And there are your final teams. Bada will not develop. Serenity and Stay Delicious will. Okay. It is racecraft time. Ooh, low rolls, real low rolls. It's a bad development here. Big time losers in the SL, but man, so will Kasana, Andres, just absolute powerhouses above everyone else. Toffoli kinda there in Mosca and ST and Nuno, but nobody else has got a chance. Rams still with eight, but wow. All right, there's your development. Pretty good gains here. Jake up to six, Anti up to five. Applied 0204. Uh, Stay Delicious gains another one and a couple losses here. Time for saving rolls. Okay, so we have some decent, decent saves here. Not a lot in SL. SL kind of took a hit this year. It's been wild. Both will have events. Okay, for our events. Tire restrictions for the SL. And 
someone's injured in the CL. Okay, let's roll for our CL injury. Number three, it's Hetmanek. So that means with a racecraft of two, Stakelicious is in. And it's actually no no real loss. Okay. Okay, we're going to do independent rules for CL for the uh, tire customer. Okay, so the customer cars were bringing one level below the actual customer. So Franz gives out three, Scuderia gives out four. For changes, we've got a spec change in SL as well. And we're changing two in, oh my god, so three changes and a spec change. Plus or minus three in spec change. Plus or minus two in CL. First season on the gearbox. All right, plus or minus three for engine and grip. Changes pretty much everywhere. Ooh, bad news for Scuderia Pericaro. Up to five losses here. RBR up to five losses as well. Um, the only pure gainer is Flow Force, so look out, finally, after years of waiting, Flow Force is going to be back in action. Best gearbox, three engine points, two grip points. Oh no, grip stayed the same, but no losses. Um, yeah. Look out. Okay, so uh, extra losey year. We have 12 saving throws. <laughs> so it saves up to one loss. No, fairly decent on the savings. A lot of people did save one. We'll do the financial saves after we look at the CL. Okay, CL is doing plus or minus two. And they're doing 30 rolls. Ooh, lots of single improvements. Not a lot of losses here. Oh, there's some near the end. It would be in grip. And I forgot that we're not doing these two, so unfortunately, forget the two fives. And they go for customers this year. Franz becomes a four, and Scuderia could go way down and be a bad, uh, bad luck draw for Bobcat Racing. Look at that, we're only doing 10 rolls for three different specs here. It's a lot less saving throws going on in the CL. Okay. Man, no luck from RJT. Not even their saves went well. Um, everyone else did do fairly well with their saves. A lot of engine save there. And here we go to the spending saving. Okay, RBR cannot save their engine, but they can save one of their grips. Lynx cannot save their engine. RRT cannot save their engine. SCP can definitely not save their engine. Wow. And everybody saved one grip except SCP. Oh, so Russo British and Lynx really, really slow with BBZ there. 
um, massive grip gain for Lynx Racing, but probably not going to balance out the fact that their car is so slow. Um, Full Force really being the winners there, as well as FGR in this offseason. Not to mention Scuderia's four point loss across the board and only one gain on the gearbox. RJT able to save their engine. And do they save their gearbox or their grip? Their gearbox they save. Bobcat and LTR able to prevent. Jordan F1. Scuderia. A little snowflake, all able to prevent. The only one losing out is Scuderia on the engine, because it's 200,000. And that's a good news save for Bobcat Racing as well. Okay, we've got uh, anti drink Bobcat with a pretty balanced vehicle. Franz has gotten better. Um, some losers here. Uh, Blue Snowflake also gained some of their gearbox. Uh, good improvement in uh, Camry Racing. Up on the grip category. The losers are definitely RJT losing some of their grip. And uh, Bobcat Racing losing out on their grip package. Uh, that they had from Little Snowflake before. Now they're buying from Scuderia Manicaro that you know, is just a small improvement. Uh, really good car here, an LTR with a driver lineup. I'd say they're the favorites this year. All right, we've got a very interesting lineup this season. Kasana, Sobel, Andries, the best three drivers on the grid in some of the slowest and poorest outfits. Good grip from Black Blizzard, but a um, little bit more speed from Scuderia Piercaro, not great packages for these cars. Um, the best car, Cosmo and Pharaoh's probably got an LSA very balanced, very fast car in flow force with decent grip. Fox and Goose has a really nice car, so does VEO. Um, but do they have the drivers to bring them home to a championship? It's going to be interesting. Can Andres and Kasana drag their poor cars? to good finishes over these other really, really nice packages that are developing. 